Lead way, boy. behind her furs. <laughs> you hid. <laughs> How did you uh, get out? Well, luckily for me, she left again in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Were you able to do the wiretap? Yes, yeah, all set up. Oh, thank goodness. Are you ready for step two? Yes, I guess so. I think I've done this right. Now, listen to me for a moment. What? You can still back out of this. The only illegal thing we've done is break an utter and tap a phone. <laughs> the only. No, 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 no. We've gone this far. It's, uh, it's too late now. Besides, Dorian killed my father. And if this is the only way to get the proof that we need, then I will simply do whatever it takes. That's all. All right. Looks like you did a good job with the recording equipment, Agent Buchanan. Thank you, Jeff. You ready for step two? Mm. Are you ready to make the call to Nurse Crawford? See if we can bluff the old girl? Ready as I'll ever be. Buchanan. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry, but I can't talk to you now. I'm busy. Oh, oh wait, uh, don't hang up. He had nothing to discuss. I thought I made that clear the last time you called. Goodbye. Oh, well, wait a minute. What about the blackmail checks that you have been receiving? Uh, Mrs. Crawford? I haven't any idea what you're talking about. Really? Well, then possibly you could explain to me uh, all the copies of canceled checks that I have. The checks made out to you, signed by Dorian Lord, in the amounts of tens of thousands of dollars and dating back to the year that my father died. But well, th th this is... Well, it's got to be some kind of mistake. No, I, I don't actually think there is a mistake. You see, I have corroborating evidence. A Ms. Blair Daimler has told me that she would be willing to testify that you told her you knew all about my father's murder. And that you covered it up for your own personal gain. Well, she's lying. I, 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 I've never even heard of Blair Daimler. You can deny that all you like, Miss Crawford, but I should probably tell you one other thing. I have here a confession signed by Dorian Lord admitting that she murdered my father, Victor Lord. And curiously enough, your name is mentioned several times on it. Now, it seems to me that would make you an accessory to murder. This is outrageous. You cannot just call people up. I want you to stop harassing me right now. So, she denied everything. Oh, let's hope Nurse Crawford takes the paint to call story. You are great. <laughs> I think this is 
sort of like water boiling. I think the longer we stare at this thing, the longer it's going to take Apple mm. Crawford to phone Dorian. Oh. That water oh. boiling oh. reminds me of coffee for some reason. Oh, you want some? Yeah, I'll call room service. No, 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 no. No, I brought some. <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> what is all this? Don't you ever go to the movies? Come on. Every single movie you've ever seen about steakhouse, they always have cold coffee and donuts. Donuts, too? Donuts. Oh, great. You are one constant surprise. That's me. You know, it's so bad yourself, you know. I can't think of anyone I would rather be stuck with in a hotel room on a stakeout. Oh, I like to hear that. Good. You know, there's another way we could occupy ourselves while we're waiting. Am I old enough to hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to tell you something. What? While I was at Dorian's apartment, I found a piece of paper with Blair Daimler's name on it and a local telephone number. Local? Well, there was no, no area code anyway. Well, that's very strange, isn't it? That's what I thought. This could be it. Of yours worked perfectly. You scared the daylights out of it. Oh, really? I was very good. Yes, I quickly would good. never have known it as it had worked if it weren't for your brilliant wire tapping operation. I propose oh. a toast to the both of us. I'll drink to that. And to taking action. I'll kiss to that. Mm. <laughs> what? Oh, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this is really very silly, isn't it? I mean, look at us. We are both legitimate pillars of the community. You are the future president of Landview University. Mm -hmm. I'm the publisher of the newspaper. And here we are in a hotel room listening to an illegal wiretap. I don't know what to look at. I know. I, but this is for a good cause, right? Right. Now we have to hope and pray that Dorian will walk into our trap. Phase one complete. I just knew it, too. As soon as Ethel Crawford started talking, I knew it was going to work. Yeah. Well, let's knock out our chickens. It's a long way to go before Dorian hangs herself. But for the pleasure of it, would you like to hear an encore? Oh, I would love to. Play it again, Sham Sloan. Hello, Dorian. This is Ethel Crawford. There's a problem. Please call me immediately. Twice the fun the second time, huh, sweetheart? <laughs> no, the fun really starts when Dorian picks up her messages. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah, far too much. Well, we've set the trap. All we have to do now is wait for the rat. Yeah. Not a peep. Oh, I mean, that doesn't make any sense to me. Does it make any sense to you? Uh, we know Dorian's in her apartment. We know she's listened to her messages. She should frantically be calling Ethel Crawford right now. Why isn't she? I don't know. Something Dorian had to take care of before she called Crawford back, I guess. Well, maybe somebody interrupted her. Something, somebody. I don't know. Answer the phone, will you? Come on, where are you? Will you answer the phone? I know that she's home. Why didn't you pick up? Hello, Ethel Crawford here. Well, there you are, Ethel. Where have you been? Dorian. 